two males, that is in Blondie as we used to call them, of the Guruma coalition. And as far as I know, he's still around, but he's a solitary male now, so it's a bit of a difficult thing to be dominant. And, and, and certainly he doesn't play much of a dominant role uh, necessarily with this pride. I'll give you my my understanding and feeling of these lines, but keep in mind, like I said, especially the way I look at wildlife and always have looked at wildlife, the fact that I've seen, you know, I've hardly seen these cats over the last year or so. Uh, there's bits and pieces of information you pick up from the other guys, which are obviously you know, very good information, but uh, it can sometimes be a little bit <laughs> grey exactly what it is. Um, we saw those money late emails, so... For the factual information as such, I'm going to rely more on Karen and Colleen and everyone else. Um, Audrey, you've also come and drive with us many times before, so um, we're, going to, we're going to get some of that. But um, yeah, five males in a coalition is always exciting, even when they're still young. They've had a hard time about it. You know, these lions for their age, um, the, the young ones are about two years old now, almost at that age where they should start um, looking at dispersing. I'm not quite two years old, but getting into that age range, you know, they've had a very tough time, they've been through stages where they were very hungry and lean, and you can see it as well, I mean, they're healthy cats, and they'll get there, but they started with a very tough break in life, with losing one of their fathers, and losing many of their other brothers and sisters. Actually, what was the, um, Karen or Clean, maybe you guys can, can help me out quickly, I'm trying to remember now, what was the, the total amount of young ones at one stage was, I think it was 19 or 16, for some reason those two numbers stick in my head, but it was in that region, somewhere between 20 and 16 lions, young ones at one stage. Um, if you guys can remember off the top of your heads, maybe just uh, email Simon with it and, and um, just confirm that. And the flies around here as well. Huh? All the grass blades around here covered in flies. Mm. Awesome, eh? mm. Well, two things they are coming through. The question from Marilyn will answer in a second. Um, first of all, just happy birthday, Angela. Just saying thank you. It's a great birthday present seeing 10 lions. And uh, yeah, it certainly is. I think we all feel like it's our birthday today. Hope it's a wonderful day for you. It certainly is for everyone else on, on drive at the moment. I mean, just look at that. Who doesn't like looking at a lion like that with beautiful eyes and a lovely cool morning as well? And then Marilyn just asking if we're constantly looking over our shoulder, checking behind us if something's sneaking up. Uh, Marilyn, to be honest with you, no. <laughs> Even though I'd probably know about it, if the lion suddenly came and nipped me at my backside here, yeah, I would suddenly pay attention. But um, having said that, part of, part of that obviously, uh, but uh, tongue in cheek. Keep in mind, if something was moving around this side, we know where the lions are. They're very alert and aware to the environment. If there was something approaching, that could potentially be a threat to us, which really isn't the case. I mean, you must understand that I am as relaxed, if not more relaxed now sitting here than I am you know, sitting in a, in a big busy restaurant somewhere in a city. Not because I'm nervous in restaurants, I love being in restaurants, but it really is an extremely comfortable environment. I, 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 I don't want to go on about it, but, but uh, maybe I should just explain to you that I'm 100% comfortable in this environment. I, if I walked into these lines now by accident or find them on foot even then you would pay attention but it's not something you're going to feel like oh my goodness I'm going to die suddenly it's just all about being aware and alert but my point was if there was something else approaching these lions would show it we would immediately see it in their behavior that lioness earlier saw something in the distance could even have been that yellow bolt kite that was flying this way so they would tell us if there was something else around Vishnu are you looking over your shoulder every now and again? <coughs> no I'm looking straight ahead <laughs> but, uh, and I do agree with you it's to focus on the lion Eh? And I do agree with you. It's very um, relaxed atmosphere. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, exciting, but beautiful and relaxed. Happy birthday, Angela. I hope it's a wonderful year. Full of adventure. 
and laughter and love and lions. Second, all of those. Uh, it would be amazing if these lions spend more and more time around this area again. Thank you, Karen. It's letting us know that the, the total count at one stage of these cubs was uh, well, between 18 and 20. Um, I also remember it, it, was a, it was a huge pride at that stage. I mean, you literally had a, uh, a swarm of cubs almost. Um, mm. And then just adding into that exactly, Chris just saying 19 cubs at once. Chris, yeah, that would be between obviously a bunch of females. Um, my memory is shocking sometimes in, in, in the details. I never want to quote a, or state it as a fact, but uh, there were six females at the time. So you can imagine six females, if they all have between three and four cubs, between a lot of them, then it's not that difficult to get to that many cubs. It's, it's an un unusually large pride. 